Hello there, I'm Roger Hill, and welcome back to some E4. Playing as Austrian 1449, thank you very much for those who have leave a like and a comment on the video in the first episode. Really do appreciate that, and welcome to the series. This is now going to be an unedited series, playing as Austria, attempting World Conquest, generally having a good time. First things I want to be doing, obviously, is to grab Austria. We now have enough dev to get the decline of Hungary, but on, by, actually by quite a bit. By grabbing that, we can then get a restoration of Union onto Hungary, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then that will give us various claims onto Croatia as well. The Croatia, Slovenia, and Dalmatia areas. Oh, yes. Where's Dalmatia? Oh, well, there. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Um, however, Hungary is in a war against Valachia, and they're only fighting Valachia. So I'm actually tempted to let them do that for a little bit, just for a little bit. Um, I'm also going, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm trying to get lots of spy networks in Augsburg and over here. So I kind of prepare myself and improving relations with them. One thing I need to keep an eye on is the fact that my estates, I'm only 29%. So if I just literally do this, right? If I just literally click that one button, yeah, I go to 30%. So I don't know why I hadn't done that earlier. It was so, so dumb. Uh, I am very tempted to actually crap out a big pile obviously i will lose crown land but i really wouldn't mind more power uh being able to get more tech is super good so i'm actually i'm gonna do that i don't i don't like the fact that i lose 10 percent, but it's actually not that bad so i'm gonna get primacy of nobility as well now that does put us pretty bad with 15 percent Ooh, monthly autonomy change isn't good um hmm the problem is the burrs. In 10... Oh man, my autonomy is going to suck. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's not much I can do about that, so I'm probably just going to have to deal with uh, with rebels. That's fine. We're going to get a little bit of rebels, but that's fine. We're just going to wait a little bit now. I will grab the uh, Decline of Hungary mission reward. In relative declines of cause concern, tighten our relationship with Hungary. And one thing I'm going to very much want to do is make sure to take the Hungarian gold province here to fuel my economy. Because that's pretty vital. So obviously my crown line is very low. I will seize 5%. Get a little bit of rebellion. Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Come on. Wow, I was so afraid of that for so long. Oh my god, I literally can't get there. That's so annoying. We are still very much waiting for Milan to be chill, which is annoying. Crownland's still pretty bad. That monthly autonomy change. Oh boy. That's actually not good. Okay, there we go. The Liberal Desire has crept down, which is nice. Bohemia will now support me in various wars. I am just going to wait for Hungary to finish their war first. At the moment, I am voted as the Emperor when I die, which is great. Uh, yeah, looking good. All we have to do is beat them up at some point. Why am I not allowed through here? Come on, guys, I'm in the Emperor. I'm the- I'm the Emperor. I'm the chillest of dudes. I'm just gonna wait until I'm at war. So, I will, uh, turn that down. Wait until I can repay my loan. Which will be quite soon, actually. Like I said, I am just waiting for them to be done. The They are fighting Byzantium, Athens, Serbia, and Herzegovina, And Byzantium is actually managing to win quite handily. Which is cool. Uh, my hope is that Hungary will take a large chunk of um, Valachia. And then I will jump on them and beat them up. That's my hope. I could grab Imperial Ascendancy right now. It gives me dip annex cost reduction and land force limit medifier. Using autonomy edict everywhere, it's fine. It'll, it'll go down on its own. Obviously, I have to wait until I can grab four years. It's just going to cost me too much money to do that. I was almost tempted to do this, but I have to lose too much crown line. It's too unpleasant for me. I am going to grab this for the diplo points. And we get a lovely marketplace. Just straight away repay my loans and start to big up my cash. And we could now also grab this. Giving us a little bit of innovativeness and getting us very much closer towards the next tech. Awesome. 
Now my hope is that they are just about to finish this siege. So they're on 0% right now. But, you know, they're not fighting anybody because they have no allies. All we want to do is just get ready to jump on them the moment conflict emerges. Which would be brilliant. I've just realized that I have all these forts. Now we have to grab this, uh, which is annoying. So we're almost there, being able to grab some claims. Almost. Ah, uh, ooh, damn it. Just got discovered. That's so annoying. All right, we'll, we'll delete that then. And then what we might do is we might try and build one in Hungary. Uh, they are still sieging this. In fact, they're sieging both forts. My hope is that they'll grab every... Oh, in fact... They have claims on it all, so they might actually full annex them, giving me massive control over everywhere. I think they should probably full annex. I'm gonna start drilling now. Might as well. Always a good idea to drill when you can. There is a Regency Council in Scilly. Fine, I guess. That fort is now done. As is that fort, which means they are literally just about to beat them up. So, we're going to just quickly take that off. And fabricate the claim in Trient. Perfect. Uh, how long until we can go back for the Augsburg one? Not for another year, that's okay. So they have immediately accepted peace. And yes, that is a full annex. Fantastic. So we're going to go straight away to taking this. Unfortunately, we'll be calling in Bosnia and the Teutonic Order. No one else will join me, unfortunately. Naples would, actually. That's interesting. I can actually get, if I had enough favors, that's annoying. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Wolf King? How's it going, buddy? Let's get ourselves ready. Now, we do have the ability to just recruit more men. How many troops does Hungary actually have, first of all? Uh, so they do have 22k. So we need to think about that. And I think we need to be waiting for them to come in my area. We also do have the Renaissance. Yeah, I'm doing good, buddy. Thank you very much for asking. Ah, I am not tech 4. I cannot fight them. That's unfortunate. That's okay. We will uh, just drill ourselves. In fact, you know what? We're not going to drill because I want to save up cash. That's unfortunate. Three things are forced to give money to Milan. Okay, so Milan has grown a little bit. They are unfortunately... Oh, they're also still attacking Switzerland, but he's not dead yet. Very interesting. Being able to get Milan would be very spicy. So we do have to wait just a little while, which is a bit annoying. Not the best speed that I would like. But not having Tech 5 is essentially makes the war basically impossible for me. We do have some unlawful territory from Switzerland. They've just taken a big chunk of Milan. So I'm going to immediately tell them to release that. Um, do we want Which one do we want to give to? The 10 dev or the 9 dev? We will make them give back Chum. So, demand unlawful territory from Chum. You. Jerk. Okay. That's unfortunate that Milan lost some stuff. We are still improving relations with Bohemia, but they are now positive, which is great. So they will help us out in our myriad conflicts. Very unfortunate that I, for some reason, am not able to get the tech I need. It's because they got a 4 by 5 biscuit. Okay. Um, Byzantium is still doing its conflict, but is now starting to win. So, yeah. It's a bit unfortunate that we're not going to actually have any allies. I could actually get Poland as an ally. And indeed I will, because... Because while it's going to cost me some Diplo points, the thing is, is that they are obviously very, very strong. And I'm not going to be in conflict with them for a very long time. 
until I have Recover Celestia. Until then. So, in the meantime, we will give them one alliance and see if Hungary will they will then join us. They will. Okay. That's going to keep people off my back and ensure that things happen the way I like. They were seeking support of the Ottomans. Oh, unfortunate. Good. And we're just also going to get a single claim just here because that is actually going to be really useful for making sure we get that gold province. Also, an Imperium for Center of Trades, which is really valuable for me. That's enough for that. Okay, so now I think it is time that we start to do some things. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to offer some spicy vassalizations, but we can just straight up annex them if we were so inclined. I also wouldn't mind doing the same thing for them. Really annoying that I don't have the ability to grab this. Because they're so high up on me in tech. Is definitely going to slow me down a lot. Like that is unfortunate how much that's going to slow me down. They just inherited the throne of the three leagues. That's fine, I suppose. There is a royal marriage offer from them, but remember that they are in a... They're in that royal marriage thing, so it's basically useless for me until I have a spare diplomat. I won't for a while. Okay. That's the nobility. Great. I think I can probably stop improving relations now with... Well... No, I can't actually. So you still need to get make sure the improved relations of the Bohemia is up enough so that when the decline goes down from the improved relations, you still have a happy. Very tempted to start this war because I kind of just need to get going. I also want to make sure that Poland is able to join me. Is Burgundy rival to me? Unfortunately, yes. So no chance of the, or well, not very a much reduced chance of the Burgundian inheritance for me, which sucks. And just going to get ourselves ready. Bear ourselves completely. This CB runs out in 74. I just want to make sure I don't lose my... Yeah, I want to wait until Milan dies before I grab Trent. I do have other CBs, obviously. A good idea to make sure I don't lose anything particularly awesome. Okay, let's go. Wait for that to be done. So I do gain quite a lot of relation per year, and that shouldn't that should help get rid of any relation malice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to attack um Hungary for the restoration of Union. They will be attacking us with 40k. I actually have enough to beat them, but unfortunately I don't properly because, yeah, okay. I'm actually still tempted to call them in. They will be very pissed off with me um, because I will not be granting them stuff. But I actually don't mind if they want to betray, if they don't want, if they want to be all pissed off at me. So what we're going to do is we're going to call them in and we're going to go take a capital pest. Uh, there is Bosnia that we could do, but I have no claims on Bosnia, so that's basically useless. So I'm going to lose them as an ally almost immediately. And we also do have the Teutonic Order, but sadly we don't have any claims directly on them just yet. I will pay them even later. Let's hope so. The so Restoration of Union, call in Poland, let's go. Exactly, I just don't care. What we're going to do is we're just going to real quickly slap people up. Probably should have made sure the garrisons were ready, but here we are. Just going to make sure everything's good. Kill those rebels real quick. And most likely they're just readying themselves, so that's fine. Good. 
Get up there. The fort should immediately desiege that, which is great. Okay. Excellent. Teutonic Order is being slapped. That's awesome. And I'm going to take a big pile of money from that. In fact, I might actually be able to keep Poland by giving provinces to them. That's actually a good point for me. I'm going to do that. That's actually going to be awesome. Okay. Their forces are basically ignoring me. Very good. Remembering that I really only care about that gold province and obviously taking the capital. I also do have a bit of unlawful territory. Shaken, I will lose the prestige because I'm going to get it back. You have Landshut over here. Um, mm, now, I do have missions on Landshut. Uh, and that is... Do, 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 to deal with the Bishopricks. So, I mean, if I were able to take Salzburg from them, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. At the moment... Trient and Augsburg should probably be sufficient. What I could do is go unlawful territory. Might try to improve relations first. Yeah, we are indeed back, Ram King. Thank you very much for joining me, my friend. Pretty well. Where are their armies? Well, I want to know. So actually, we could do this by and manage to keep Poland by giving the Teutonic Order directly to them. Which will actually interestingly weaken pretty significantly I mean, our, our other enemies. Okay. It's just Bohemia right now. Um, we do have some good allies here and there. Oh dear, what's happening now? We are about to lose a thousand men, that's okay. I mean, I could probably win that. Go. I'm gonna backstab Poland. I'm basically backstabbing them right now. So, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna base. Well, I'm not gonna backstab them. I'm actually probably gonna give them this because I don't really see a reason not to. I might as well do this because I should get um, control over them. He's still not had an heir, which is great. Doesn't actually have. Really hope he doesn't get all annoying. Yeah, this is this is this has gone completely fine. Like, there is literally no concern here. We've already won this. And once we've got this, we do want to prepare for our war against Croatia. Oh no, so we will actually get Croatia automatically. We will have the war against Bosnia and Serbia. So that's cool. Well in Byzantium. Who is surprisingly alive. Okay. Um, I might force vassalize Byzantium in this, so as to be able to return cores, which would be awesome against the Ottomans. Remembering that I do get a large number of claims on to the Ottomans already. Yeah, I get further claims to the entire Ottoman promise. So being able to weaken the Ottomans just on its own is really nice. So the mission, the stuff that I get from Hungary is Slovenia, Croatia, and Dalmatia. Checking that. Slovenia, Croatia, and Dalmatia. Okay, so it's not actually Bosnia. Which is a bit annoying. But I will be able to get a myriad of claims right here. Very nice. I also do need to take quite a bit of stuff here. Okay. If I can get a couple more claims before I do anything else, that'd be cool. Oops. Where's the where's the covert action? Unfound it. There it is. I've already got your claims. Go away. And we do have still a little bit more of demand on lawful territory, but sadly they won't accept. Uh Come on, bro. We're friends. Be chill. I am surprised how well this has gone. 
great. All right, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Do make sure you leave me a like and a comment below. It really does help out a lot. And, of course, you can check out Patreon if you'd like to support me further. And I was Algeron, continue to be. This has been E4 Austria. Lightly slow start, but not terrible. Bye-bye.